Hi, I'm Jesse Holstein, Concertmaster of the New Bedford Symphony, with this week's Concertmaster check-in, sort of what I'm up to in any particular week for the symphony. And leading up to a concert, one of the things that I have to do are called bowings and fingerings. Well, I'll show you what that means. So, bowings refers to, there's really only two directions. There's down bow, which is when the bow goes this way, and up bow, when the bow goes this way. Well, how complicated could that be? Well, it's not, but yet we want the whole section uh, bows to be moving in the same direction. And so that means I need to mark in symbols in the part to show which way the bow moves. And sometimes the composer is not particularly helpful with this. So I'm just going to take a passage from the Sibelius Symphony No. 1 that we'll be playing in November and explain what I mean. So as Sibelius writes it, Sibelius was a violinist himself, and he wrote in a couple of bowings, but this is the way that it works out. And the top of the phrase I want that to be on a down bow, because that's, if I was speaking, I want to go to the store, okay? Store would be on a down bow, the peak of the sentence. And so it doesn't quite work out the way Sibelius wrote it. So I change a couple of things. So in order to do that. So you see at the top of the phrase, I was able to be on a down bow. So that's a lot of what I do. And also, it's not just going down and up, but trying to make sure we follow the dynamics. So within that, there's a crescendo or to get louder. And so if I just stay in the same part of the bow and just go up and down, it doesn't really work. So there's no, there's no crescendo there. I want to make sure I get to the bottom of my bow so I can do an, uh, a heavier stroke on the top of the phrase. So if you see, I worked my way down here so I could lean in. Now the other part is fingerings. So getting from point A to point B on the violin because if I stay in what's called the same position of my hand, I can't do it. I actually have to do what's called shift. So on the same page of the Sibelius, there's a series of scales. And so I have to put down fingerings or what finger goes down when to show how to get up there. So for example, here is the first passage. So you see, I moved my hand twice to get up there. Because if I just stay, oh, I can't get up there. So I mark lots of fingerings and bowings in the part, and then I send it to Elisa to, uh, well, actually, I send this part to the other section leaders of the orchestra so they can create bowings and fingerings for their section. And then we all send it to Elisa, and they, she distributes it to the orchestra. So, but it starts uh, here in my living room, uh, just putting in fingerings and bowings. So that's what I've been up to this week.